you know how rumors get around and you you hear a little bit and then it's added on to. So I'm just anxious to find out what's really true and what's not. So that Liberty County can get back to having the sheriff and if not him, one that will, you know, keep our county clean. An area sheriff is on the other side of the law. It's our top story tonight. Thanks for joining us, everyone. I'm AJ Hilton. Gina has the night off. State authorities arrested Liberty County Sheriff Nick Finch for alleged misconduct on the job. Eyewitness News reporter Garen Flowers joins us live in studio on this developing story. Garen, what's the latest? Well, AJ, things have been unfolding all day on this story. We recently found out Governor Rick Scott has named an interim Liberty County Sheriff, a man named Carl Kazi. That announcement comes just after word of the arrest of current sheriff, 50-year-old Nicholas Finch. The Florida Department of Law Enforcement booked Finch into the Liberty County Jail a little after 5 p.m. today. Investigators say back in March, a Liberty County Sheriff deputy made an arrest on a resident there for carrying a concealed firearm. FDLE believes shortly after the arrest, Finch released the suspect from jail, then altered or destroyed paperwork from the arrest. We spoke with residents around town to get their thoughts on the sheriff's arrest. He says he's considered what people are considering an outsider and not from Liberty County that they finally, finally railroaded him out. And in my personal opinion is he was doing his job and people didn't like it. The sheriff declined to comment, but his attorney, Jimmy Judkins, had this to say. The records at the jail show exactly what happened in this case, and the records speak the truth. The sheriff looked at the facts and said, I believe in the Second Amendment, and we're not going to charge him. That is not misconduct, misconduct at all. That is within the sheriff's prerogative whether to charge someone or not. Finch is being charged with one count of official misconduct. He was, recent, he was released shortly after he was arrested on his own recognizance. Follow our website, WCTV, for more on this developing story. Live in studio, I'm Garen Flowers, WCTV Eyewitness News. All right, thanks, Garen.